Oh, I've got a horse. First it was too cold. Now it's too goddamn hot. Welcome to America, you whingy git. And humid too. It's a right swamp, I tell you. Da 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 da. I'm on a horse. Say nothing of the mosquitoes. Warm weather and bugs are soon to be the least of our worries. Da 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 da. What? You mean the bulldog? <laughs> Please. We'll be in that one beef soon enough and on to oh. the next. Uh, Connor. Uh, sorry, no. Hey, Haytham. Went the wrong way. Return to finish out his service under Braddock. Oh, I just realised I'm not controlling the horses. It's spazzed out because it's a cutscene. Please just been a tale of my incompetence and beg forgiveness. He is away with words, especially when it comes to flattery. I expect he'll be welcomed back with open arms. Oh no, now I've got the control of the horse back. Which would give us a man. It's a bit inside. weird. I haven't got much control though, I can like weave it a little bit, but obviously that broke the game. Hello. Unless you've underestimated our enemy. I highly doubt it. If I have, Charles will sense it. What was she doing? Just having a little spaz out on the spot. Hello. I see you've been busy. All these men are from many different tribes, united in their desire to see Braddock sent away. Okay, cool. The Abenaki, the Lenape, the Shawnee. And you? And the Mohawk, of course. Who do you stand for? Myself. Oh. What would you have me do? Will you help the others to prepare? Follow. Follow. Oh, it's nice to have an independent woman character in this that isn't a whore. Oh, it's refreshingly nice. I like her. They come. She's touching him again. Maybe she is a whore. <laughs> no, she's not. Just savouring the moment. No doubt, many wonder why it is we've pushed so far west. These are wild lands as yet untamed and unsettled. But it shall not always be so. It's very prophetic. In time, our holdings will no longer suffice. And that day is closer than you think. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow and further prosper. Which means we need more land. What a lovely man. So shouty as well. The French understand this and endeavor to prevent such growth. They skirt around our territory, erecting forts and forging alliances, awaiting the day they might strangle us with the noose they've built. They did a very good job, actually, blockading with the ships, so yeah. We must sever the cord and send them back. This is why we ride, to offer them one last chance. The French will leave, or they will die. See, this is why we deserve to be killed in this game, because we were total twats. <laughs> Those people whinging about that. Sod off, I say. I'll disguise myself as one of his own and make my way to his side. Your ambush will provide the perfect cover for me to deliver the killing blow. Oh no, not another disguise mission. I'm really bad at these. I'm so bad at these. Just because I want to try and do them perfectly, and I never do. Except now and then. Kill militia without triggering open conflict. Okay. There, in front of us. Oh, this will go well. This will go well. The wood's too thick. At this rate, it'll be days before we reach Duquesne. We should follow the river instead. Oh, God, how am I going to do this? We are near 2,000 men. One scout is all they need to know of us. Oh, I'm stuck on something. Swiftness would serve us better. I can't see. Hello. Oh, God. Oh. Ow, don't push me. Wow. Well, hang on a minute. I've got the stupid bullshit going on here. It's because I've got bloody no weapon. This is, I'm, I'm not having this. Hang on. Right, this is it. This is game time. Get out, go on. Shove off. Now, I buggered that up entirely 
but in my defense the the man pushed me so you know I would have been fine I would have made my way but you pushed me you little git also doesn't the bulldog know your face so isn't this oh whoops isn't this kind of a waste of time I need that bloody oh. There's a musket there. I wanted it. Damn it. Hello. Hello everyone. With a French pushback there'll be a lot of opportunity oh. for Well this is a death trap if I ever saw one. All the companies are lined up. Have you mean, sir? You are grateful to have served. Whoa. General! Dude, what are you playing at? What are you playing at? Edward. Not so fun on the other end of the barrel, is it? Uh. Look out! Oh dear. Who's that? Oh, it's the French. Is that the French? I don't know if it is. Sir. Hello. Uh. Where are you off to, Edward? This is a bit weird. Why wouldn't he just call out to his men? Come on, horsey. Get out the way. Excuse me. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, this is, this is all very, very well and done. Come on, Mr. Horsey. Out the way, stupid men. Come on, horse. You can do this. You can do this. Oh, fuck. Come on, jump. Horsey can't do this. Come on, horsey. You can do this. Come on. What? Oh, I did it. I did do it. it wasn't very obvious if I was actually shooting or not there. So... I never took you for a coward, Edward. There we go. Come on, then! Oh, my God, my horse. Such arrogance. I always knew it would be the end of you. Oh, no. Is that George Washington? What a dick. Yay! Thank you, nice lady. Don't. Thank you, uh, Zio. Zio? Hurry before he gets away. Oh, ow. Jesus. I said go! Okay, madam. Oh, Jesus Christ. She's, she's certainly something. Right, come on then. Come on, Ed Braddock. You're a hypocrite, Hatham! I'm sorry, Edward! There we go. Take that. I'm not chasing you down if I don't have to. Why, Hatham? Because you're a douche. Your death opens a door. It's nothing personal. No, it is personal. You're a douche. Well, maybe it is a little personal. <laughs> Been a pain in my ass after all. <gasps> but we are brothers in arms. <laughs> Once, perhaps. No longer. Do you think I've forgotten what you did? All those innocents slaughtered, and for what? It does not engender peace to cut your way to resolution. Wrong. Whether we applied the sword more liberally and more often, the world would be a better place than it is. Unlikely, but okay. In this instance, I concur. Go. Get rid of you. Farewell, Edward. Take off your your ring. Why did you wear it over your gloves? Surely, if you take your gloves off, you're going to lose it. Like just saying, if you if it's a, a an insignia ring, there's a better way to wear insignia than on a glove. It's done. 
Hooray! Thank you. Now I've upheld my part of the bargain. Can you I tell me what it means, please? Follow me. What? Where are we going? What are we doing? Can you explain? I'm very confused. Oh, we're in a cave. Ooh! Cave paintings. Oh, shit. Is this the cave? Is this the cave that Desmond was in? Maybe not, because it's a different key. I don't know. I'd have to go back and look. No. No! It must be, because look, there's a slot for the apple. I don't think it's the same cave paintings. You seem disappointed. I thought that I held a key that would open something here. Uh, no. This room is all there is. You have something. I expected more. Maybe it tells you where the key is. What do they mean? It tells the story of Yotzitzizu, who came into their world and shaped it for what life might come. She had a hard journey, fraught with great loss and peril. But she believed in her children and what they might achieve. And though she is long gone from the physical world, her eyes still watch over us. Her ears still hear our words. Her hands still guide us. Stop touching. And her love still gives us strength. Oh, uh. You have shown me great kindness, dear. Thank you. Oh. I... I should go. Oh, hello. We knew it was coming. We knew it was coming. But uh, that was a very sweet, very sweet way of doing it. There's a lot of vulnerability in uh, Haytham. Failed that mission. Oh, well. Oh, I'm back in my proper clothes. A few days later, now there is a page. Ah, come here. Oh, damn it. Did I get it? Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. I did catch it. I did get it. Oh, God. He's chasing me. Sorry. I caught it. I caught a page. All you have to do is run at them. That's fairly easy. Right. Let's go into the inn. Into in. Ah, uh, it's it's uh, it's good. My good friend. Hello, Charles. Master Kenway. Did you find it then? No. It was not the right place. The others are waiting for you. Thank you, Charles. Gentlemen. Hello. Please. Don't stand on ceremony. Goodness sake. I fear our temple was no more than a painted cave. Although it did contain precursor images and script, which means we are close. Not close enough, it seems. We need to redouble our efforts and expand our order and establish a permanent base here. Mm-hmm. Although the sight eludes us, I am confident we will find it. Truth. Hear, hear. Furthermore, I believe it is time we welcome Charles into our fold. Oh? He has proven himself a loyal disciple and served unerringly since the day he came to us. Charles? He should be able to share in our knowledge and reap all the benefits that such a gift implies. Are any opposed? Very well. Good. Charles, come, stand. Good. Awesome. Good for you, Charles. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I wish you'd say which order. And never to share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work. I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost. I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. Together, we will usher in the dawn of a new world, one defined by purpose and order. Give me your hand. 
You are a Templar. I called it. I fucking called it. Haytham's a Templar. I knew it. I knew it from the order. Like, no one, they weren't saying the right thing. Wait, what? Uh, Desmond's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Haytham's a Templar. How'd you like them apples? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 